All right, so I will show you why I keep losing my time with this serialization nightmare. So this is an example. This is a transform class, very simple, nothing wrong with it, right? So I do have all my random stuff, but here in the end, I have the necessary stuff that needs to be serialized. I need to save this to disk. I need to load this from the this from disk i also need to display that in the user interface and i also need to reflect that into python and visual scripting so i'm talking about five different stuff that i need to do and that's basically the same thing so uh right now the way that works and i've already messed up here um i'm creating two different like i'm creating a different function for every one of those five steps meaning that i have five functions for all my classes that does pretty much the same thing and i want to change this i want to create a single function so that's easier to manage just like that and i'm trying and i keep trying and trying and trying to do this so i have it here this is an example and i, I i'm just uh, randomly like it, it was not necessary to serialize the quaternion because I'm already serializing the rotation and it handles both. But just for the sake of keeping things compatible with the save files, I do have it. Anyways, this is perfect. I want this. I want to do this. And if I do this, I can even get right of the draw user interface as well because, again, it's the same code. Well, this is perfect. And why this does not work? Oh, Christ. Because then you start thinking about corner cases maybe you have a vector in this shit you have an std vector of stuff like an integer of course i'm not going to have an std vector in this specific stuff but well you might have this right stuff and then uh, things can you, you you know like it's simple to save this you can just just like i do where's my vector stuff i'm very upset man here we go. I have a templated uh, class method in my file system that saves and loads the vector and stuff. So yeah, in theory it's fine. But then uh, maybe this is an int pointer vector. And now you messed up because you need to save and, and load the pointer type. And then you need to figure out how to initialize this thing in real time and save and anyways i do have it this in cave i have it already no problem at all but then things start getting even more complicated but because maybe instead of like a plain old data like that i have a more complicated stuff for example i have a transform pointer crap and then the file system needs to be able to properly call the load and save and whatever function i need to serialize this shit and then I need to go ahead. Of course, I have a super base class, which is like a, an I object. I call this and I do have all the garbage that I need. And then not all the garbage. I don't have Python stuff here. But anyways, you get a point. And then you can go ahead and write a very complicated that does not even fucking work method templated in garbage to see hey man if this is a mirror uh, object that is a base class and boom yeah yeah blah 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 you can load this and save this is the procedure well this will not freaking work why because see, in order to call this shit i need to import the mirror stuff but in order of uh, to the mirror to the reflection system and blah 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 to work and properly call this shit, I need to import the file stuff. So I have a circular importing crap, and I'm so upset because this is not the first time, the second time, the third time, not the hundred thousand billion time I'm I try this. I've been trying to do this to fix this nightmare for almost eight fucking years eight fucking years i'm so upset i'm pissed man game engine development is hard it's freaking hard i don't know and you say hey man just get right of this crap stop using like c plus plus garbage and i agree but this is the fucking problem let me show you guys why this is harder than it looks like so let me go, oh, sh oh no, I want to show this in the Explorer, please. Now we're talking and I want to open a Linux terminal. Let me open Linux terminal. You guys will love this. 
It's gonna be so nice. Let me open Linux here. Oh, Christ. <sighs> All right, it's initializing. Let me do this shit. Let me change this. Yes, sure. <laughs> I want to cry, man. Anyways, here we go. Why I'm doing this? Because I want to show you something very interesting. Let me go to the engine. And let me see how many lines of code I have in this garbage. If you work, of course. Ugh. Here we go. Because this engine is not easy. It's it's not something that I can fix in like three minutes. It's it's a huge work. I've been working on this shit for again eight years probably. And there's a lot of files, there's a lot of crap, and it is literally impossible to hear writing. And how do I know that? Because I tried. I freaking tried to hear write this. But guess what? I have, let me see here, 128,000 lines of code. That's a freaking lot of lines of code. <laughs> and I, there's no way that I would rewrite this in C or whatever, Rust or whatever garbage you, you might think about it. And I'm pissed. Let me see the editor. <sighs> oh no, man. <sighs> Here we go, let me see how many lines of code. 6,000 lines of code, nice. Let's see the player, the player is very... Oh, anyways, I give up. Man, game engine development is really hard. It's not easy, there's a lot of garbage involved. And you know what, I go ahead, select all those changed files, and you know what, live here right now, I'm ranting, I'm kidding. Where's the discard fucking changes? Yes, I discard this. Boom, I don't have changes anymore. Whoa, perfect. Now let me recompile this garbage. Yes, please recompile this garbage. And then it's gonna take ages to do that because you know what? Visual Studio is also very stupid and it does not compile my stuff smartly. It's really weird. And I, I'm pretty sure that I can write a better make file, but you know what? I want because I'm, ugh, I'm full of this. Jesus Christ. God, please help me. 